Revelation chapter 14 and verse 7, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgment is come, and worship Him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 7. Please join me as, as we take some time to study this verse a little bit deeper. The verse says, Fear God and give glory to Him. What does it mean to fear God and what does it mean to give glory to Him? Fear God according to Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. It means to fear God and keep His commandments. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not bow down to another gods, nor create a graven images. Thou shalt not take the Lord thy God name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor thy father and thy mother. And all the way to command, commandment number 10, thou shalt not cover. Commandment number 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to commandment number 10. Those are the commandments of God that we ought to be keeping. When we keep them, we know we fear God. Fear God means to keep His commandments. Whether the situation is good or whether the situation is bad, whether the circumstances is favor favorable to us or not, to fear God is to keep His commandments. To fear God is to obey Him at whatsoever cost it may take. Give glory to Him. According to 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31, whether therefore ye eat, or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. Whether therefore ye eat. How does eating contribute to giving God glory? Why is eating important? In the book of Genesis, eating was mentioned. Adam and Eve were told not to eat a fruit in the Garden of Eden. And because they chose to eat that fruit, they were cut off from the communion with God. The food that we eat could determine the time we spend with God of how long we can have with Him. It could also mean that a point that if we don't take the correct food, our communion with God can simply be cut off just like in the Garden of Eden. Just by one fruit taken. The face-to-face -face communication of Adam and Eve with God was cut off. Even in the things that we eat, we ought to give glory to God. Why should we fear God? Why should we keep the Ten Commandments? Why should we give glory to Him? Even in the small matters like eating and drinking, why? For His hour of judgment is come. What is this hour of judgment? According to 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 10, the Bible says that we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. When Jesus is coming back at the second time, those who do good and those who do bad, each of them will receive their rewards. The good shall have eternal life. The wicked shall be dead. The Bible says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him shall not, should not perish but have everlasting life. When we choose to obey God, when the good people obeys God, they have eternal life. But when the wicked does not obey God, when they choose to disbelieve in God, when they choose to go against the will of God, when they choose to break the commandments, when they choose not to give, the gl give glory to God, communion is not only cut off at the Garden of Eden, but it will be cut off forever for them. But there is hope in this verse to keep the commandments of God it is a tiring journey to do so. To each and every day, think of the food that we eat. It can, if, if with our own strength, it can be so tiring and so overwhelming. But the Bible does not leave us to be hopeless. And let's look at the second part of this verse. Worship Him that made the heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. Worship the Creator, the Creator of the heaven and earth, the Creator of the sea and the fountains of waters. What is so nice about worshipping the Creator? 
As we worship the Creator, we are called to remember of our own creation. Men were made out of dust and the breath of life. It is two components. Man is made out of dust and of the breath of life. If man tries to focus on the dust, to work his way, to just feed on the dust, it is just but dust. It can be tiring and it cannot sustain. But man ought to remember that man is not alive simply because there is dust, but there is also the breath of life. But what is even better is that these dust does not look like dust. These dust looks like the image of God because these dust were made in the image of God. Are we to do this task alone? This task of keeping the commandments of God? Are we to do the task of glorifying God alone? No, we are not left alone. We remember that we are but dust, but we remember that God has intentionally put the breath of life into us that we might live. To be left alone without the breath of life is just pure dust that is bound for destruction. It is pure dust that is meaningless. But because there is the breath of life, man became a living soul. And even in that dust, there is the image of God printed on it. To fear God and to give Him His glory, remembering where our value comes from. As we walk into the world, the world sees us differently. Oh, he's just a poor man. Oh, he's just a fool that thinks that there is such thing called heaven. Oh, he's just but a fool. But no, as we worship the Creator of God, we are reminded of the value that our, our Creator has planted into us. We are created in His image. He is the King of kings and He is the Lord of lords. And as we worship Him, as we fear Him by keeping His commandments, and as we give Him the glory, we will enjoy the blessings that He has intended for us. Just like in the book of Genesis, where happiness is only found. That if there is not enough, God would create more to just give it to us that we can have more happiness. Adam was created in a perfect world. And God looking at Adam's life added happiness to it. God added Eve to Adam's perfect life. Heaven is just like that. As we go to heaven, we are already happy. But each and every day, our blesser look at us. He looks at every part of our life. And he see that I can just add one more happiness into his life or her life. So fear God and keep his commandments. The hour of judgment is coming. Let us be fine, faithful to stand at the sight of the blessed. Thank you. <laughs>